Oh. stereotypes and he's continuing to carve out his niche in WWE calls himself the part of 205 Live no doubt about that one of the most exciting competitors in WWE today Gulak's in the house and his opponent from Philadelphia Pennsylvania Weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. The fact is, Drew Gulak is a skilled match technician. He pays great attention to detail, especially when it means manipulating the human anatomy. A technical wizard from Philadelphia, Drew Gulak is a force to be reckoned with in the cruiserweight division. A true broad street bully.
right on the mark. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Ooh. He's inflicting some serious pain here. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. This man means business. He's starting to stumble here. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. His drop kick connects. He'll be... Feeling the effects of that for a while. It's just a matter of time now. He looks a bit off his game here. Digging deep for a kick out. Remarkable. And now that one's countered. Wow, that was impressive, Michael. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Incoming. So damaging. Through Gulak, going for an early pin, and the kick out by Ali. Oh, wow. WrestleMania 34 saw more than 78,000 fans converge on New Orleans. One of the most exciting matches happened Earlier on, as Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander faced off to crown a new Cruiserweight Champion. It was a match that saw two close friends reaching for the same dream, Michael. Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander both stopped at nothing to be the one to leave WrestleMania with the Cruiserweight title. Let's revisit Mustafa Ali's WrestleMania moment. He worked his butt off to get there, beating three tough competitors in the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament, but Cedric Alexander had an answer every time Ali got on a roll. It may not have been the outcome Mustafa Ali wanted, guys, but I know he was honored to compete for the coveted Cruiserweight Championship on the grand stage of WrestleMania. Ooh, what an elbow. It's a barrage of elbows. Mustafa Ali prides himself on being a role model for everyone to follow their dreams and be the best they can be. He's all about defying preconceived notes. ...and showing the power of ambition. Fellas, I almost got that warm, fuzzy feeling inside just then. Then I remembered that this industry is about winning. Ali needs to worry more about that. Ali is looking at this. He's got to do it quick. I want to add to the discussion of Mustafa Ali as a role model. You know, this is a guy who has shown time and time again that you can be a winner in WWE, but also he goes for the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Mustafa Ali still has some more high flying to do, apparently. Oh boy, he is rolling. Man, look at the quickness of Gulak. Through Gulak, big move coming. Unbelievable move by Gulak. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. 
He's inflicting some serious pain here. Bionic elbow right to the forehand. Unbelievable move by Gulak. Can he finish the job? There it is. Now the... It's in, it's in! Night, night. That's what he was looking for, Michael. his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right now. He's going to the pin. This could be it. Head to the pay window. Two. And he kicks out. Not yet. Going after the back here. Oh, I think this man needs business. This is going to be big one way or another. Ali is looking at this. He's got to do it quick. Nice move. But he's putting on huge here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? He may get the three count right there. Two. True testament to Gret. Where did Gulak find the energy? Ali, there it is. Ali just put the exclamation point on this man. Okay, it's over. But he's got that's just great execution. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Through Gulak. Big move coming. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Warm up the bus. This one. He's got the shoulders down. Two, three, and you can put this singles match in the books. That match deserves another look, folks. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Here is your winner, Drew Gulak. And Gulak walks away with the win. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. What an effort we saw here. Truly a great match. Say yeah.
Can we please have quiet on the set? Awesome! I came to, I came to play. play. There's a price. 
price to pay. Time for you to get down on your knees. I pray. You will say goodbye to the good old days. They're never coming back. Watch a few times. I came to play. Get my dues paid. I guess you had a dream, but it can't be saved. Okay, I can use my mic now. God damn. I had family down here and Oh, it was it was terrible. It was bad, but whatever. At least we're live and that match as Mustafa Ali was terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I do want current Seth Rollins stuff. This one's actually pretty good. I'll download it. I wonder, I don't think they updated Norm Dar, do they? There's long tights, I guess not. Someone's gotta make that. So I don't think he has the tights in this one. If I'm correct or not, let me check actually. Go ahead and do a match. So I don't think he uh, doesn't look like I can't tell. I don't think he has. High school gym. <laughs> Let's do it. Loading is not that bad so far. Not that bad at all.
Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 190 pounds, Aria Dabari. Dabari brings a no-nonsense style and approach to the cruiserweight division. Hey, Arya Davari, uh, well, you could say he's had a rather abrasive relationship with the WWE Universe, but I don't think he cares. Okay, here we go. Oh, I was on the Twitter. WWE Universe oh, okay. is jumping to the bit to see these yeah, the two competitors this game go at it. You can count apparently. me in on the excitement. I Maybe can't I wait. Turn on my overlay Man, now. this card is just packed with so many great matches, Man. and this one is definitely among the most the anticipated. Off, I only have three reverses. Are you kidding me? Hey, what? What? There's no recovering from that. The strikes are a little. Choppy here. I see exactly what Pulse is talking about when I saw his gameplay uh, showcase. It seemed like a little too quick. It looks like he's teleporting those strikes. His drop kick oh, finds the mark. That, drop? that was like his signature, wasn't it? He is the big name. Oh, this is updated gear. Uh, sort of. Before he uh, got injured. Oh man, that could have broken the jaw. They didn't bother changing his gear. I'm sad. The hell, flying knee? Yeah, right. Yeah. Method. Oh. That looked like he was supposed to grab his thumb. I saw that, but I think he. F I think that animation fucked itself over. What's this? He's on the defensive oh. here. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. Yeah, he's taking on oh, some offense reversed. here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's no. in the ring with. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a Get very big off, mistake. Man. Mark my words. Oh, my God. Are you serious? No. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. I oh, was gonna get this on PC. I totally forgot too, man. What the fuck? No one's got time for this ground game stuff. Come on now. He's oh. starting to show signs of Doesn't fatigue. Matter, win anyway. This could be the start of an ugly but downward spiral if he's not careful. What? Hey, you're gonna absorb some what? punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory. Are you serious? He knows it. I doubt he's all that Are concerned. Are you fucking this kidding me? This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Oh, there's a what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> this man went all out with the fucking trouble of paradise. Oh my god. Somebody. Oh, he's not spring oh, come back on. Bad no, I'm done. Springboard, are you kidding me? He is more technical, so. Oh. The combos. How did he hurt my head already? I've been doing more moves than he has. It's crazy. What's this? He's just playing class. Oh. And he kicks out. Oh, man. I don't know who to root for. Keep your eye on this one. It feels different. It really does. I mean, Look at same this. same looking game, but like the speed of it has changed for sure. Oh, I didn't roll out. Okay, good. That was gonna roll all the way to the outside and cost a fucking debuff. That's apparently a he thing now. You get debuffed if you uh, if he wants to win roll this match. out of the ring. Oh man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. Oh, I just realized I needed to lower the volume of the game. Okay. Yeah, this is still heal no M Dar. I got the Miz DDT. Power to drive him to the mat. A high risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Look at this. Boy, he is rolling. Oh, is this the power bomb again? Got him. 
with the power bomb. Noam Dar making his move. Oh my God! He reversed my signature. You motherfucker. That's a Miz taunt right there. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Oh, he doesn't have a drop kick into the corner. Come on. Oh, boy, oh shit. Oh. Low blow, poison medicine, and power punch are dirty moves that apply strong and debuff to your opponent. Don't let the referee see you use them or you'll be disqualified. I think this man needs business. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Jeez, that super kick was lightning quick. God dang. The stop in the leg. Just nasty. Is I going to use his frog splash? Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. Not yet. One and a half. Good try. What are you doing, Taunting? I'm getting my third reversal back. Dodges a bullet. Oh my god, the ropes. Oh my god. What's my finisher? Fuck. The damage has been done. Oh, it's the uh Oh wait, I can do it from here too? Okay. I really can't believe oh, step up in Taguri. Great kick by the Scottish supernova. But he's running on fumes here. Does he? There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Two, three, there we go. What a win for Noam Dar. It's a running finisher now, and a corner. Here's another. So he's got the, the, the finisher lights. from last year and a running. Uh, into Gary. Okay. That one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Count yourselves lucky people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few no times. Time. That's yeah, I'm not turning off the overlay. It's not helping. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old fashioned one on one fight. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. Oh, it's big head mode. Um, how do you get that? I know it's in here, but I don't know where or how. <sighs> Hold on here. I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna figure it out myself. Match options. Gotcha. I got it now. I got it now.
Let's see here. Let's just do a normal match. Had a WrestleMania shirt. The big head mode on. Actually, let's do a. Wait, are they not downloaded? Hold on here. Oh, wait, I have to go back. No, wait, I did download you guys. What the fuck? In your local profile, what does that mean? My local profile? Is that in creations here? Superstars? Edit custom superstar? Oh, oh, I did get him twice. There we go. This is SummerSlam gear, huh? This is pretty sweet. Yeah, he's got two of higher slot. Yeah, this is the current one pretty much Except that he's got a new shirt now with the shield uh, Actually, can I How do I make this alternate attire here? Is it through here? Yes His name should be. Oh, wait, his name doesn't work? Oh, that's safe slot. Gotcha. Okay. That is not a pose he does. He does a cross arms. Oh, it looks so weird now. Was oh, a good cross arms here. No, not that one. No. Yeah, like this. Yes. There we go. Thank you. Jesus. AA is actually a good overall for an Intercontinental Champ. I like it. But his name is SummerSlam tw 2018. That's kind of weird. Whatever. Wait, can you? Is that, I don't know if that's a text image texture or not. Like what's on his uh, on his boots? Because it's two different colors. Because I've been waiting for character creation to do stuff like that. I don't know if that's a texture thing or not. Wow, this loading takes a while. You just walk away. So turn around. We got Undisputed Era. Roderick Stroud. Oh, you only got one entire? Okay. I like how they made him heal. Oh, he's not even an Undisputed Era in this game. It's hilarious. The bad ass is always kicking ass. Oh,
kind of like this. This is okay. I dig it. I can dig it. Roger Strong is one of my favorite guys, man. Kyle O'Reilly as well. Kyle O'Reilly. Ultra favorite. He's really ganked in this game for some reason. I don't like Seth Rollins' hair as well. It's 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 not good. <laughs> it really is not that good. Okay, let's check out. I still can't select custom superstars. Why? That's weird. That's really weird. And okay, more cruiserweights, man. Oh wait, look at that. Why is he locked? Um. Wait a minute. Why is he in this? Okay, he's not in mail. Should be an all would make sense. Uh, no, I guess not. So why is he in cruiserweight? What? You know what? Whatever. We're gonna play now. We're gonna do big head mode. We're gonna play as Nakamura with his new entrance against Kyle O'Reilly. That's a good match, actually. Oh shit, Roderick Strong can be included. No, let's get them all in here, please. Confirm. Uh, wait, uh, undisputed. Tom. Tom. Oh shit, this is gonna be insane. Damn, his, uh, his. O'Reilly's tattoo is very noticeable here. Holy shit, the detail off of that. Oh, Undisputed Air, they stopped wearing... Did they stop wearing armbands? They stopped doing that? I'm glad they got the shield theme. I'm glad they got their entrance, too.
four of the most elite superstars in the entire world. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's mad scary. <laughs> of some of the most successful internationally traveled He looks scary as hell, man. He's still ganks the gills with a giant head. Undisputed era may just be unstoppable. There's always a question if you've achieved worldly success in sports entertainment prior to WWE, whether or not you can carry that success over. Well, the Undisputed Era has proven not only can they carry that success, they have taken it to a whole new level. Confident, cocky, but they can back it up. He is eccentric and he's like no oh other superstar. God, it feels weird, man. WWE it feels really ring. weird. The resident artist around here. This is Shinsuke is this? Nakamura. Byron, you okay? Oh, Why your hands Oh my like God, a Palmetto Driver. When I looked at the card for tonight. This one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. What's that? I can't help <laughs> Poor Roger looks like a strength. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not paying attention. That the title is not on the line Submission button mash. I had to download that outfit for Roger out. Strong. That's the sad yet, part. I don't know how he got automatically added to the entrance too. He's so I guess they, serious pain here. they really just didn't have time to make an entrance for him. And they didn't even update his theme too. His solo theme. He slams him oh, down. Liger ball. A pin now. Jesus, this giant head oh, mode. Oh my God, his face is in the ring. Oh, 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 no, I forgot about this thing. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. Oh, reversals are something to get back in tough. This thing. Oh, he's got this that move. Oh, I forgot. No he, he does a Nigel. That's sick. Oh, I think this man. No, oh, fucking motorcycle stretch. Get the fuck off him. lost a step now. Shinsuke Nakamura called himself the artist, and it's plain to see why. Well, reversals are wow. You to his have to really get ring, specifically here. Okay, I got it that time. There we go. Put in a well, he really put some damage on me already. Get the fuck off me, man. Oh, right to the kidneys. I like the update uh, Nakamura's theme, though, at least. At least I got that right. Going back to the artist known oh, as Shinsuke Lancelot? Nakamura. We've also seen oh, many is. a masterpiece in the ring from Nakamura. Looking for oh, with a pin. Here. Pops the shoulder well, look at these two over back. here. <laughs> what is happening? Ouch. Ooh, oh, my God, the ropes. What a high angle right across the shoulders. He's inflicting some Fuck. serious pain here. I didn't reverse. Gets him Ouch. With the knee there. Oh, my God, Here's the ropes. Kyle He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. It's way too early. Hold on here. Okay, my full screen image is different from the stream one. Hold on. It's looking really terrible. Okay, here we go. Oh, don't tell me this is the arm and leg. Oh, it is! I'll arm and leg right bar. Now. Get Any off me, man. Can turn your lights out in an instant. <laughs> I have an MMA background. Leave me alone. Could put nicely done as he gets out How of the fifty percent. What the fuck is this? Michael, Big heads are in the way. Oh, landslide. Oh, I think this man means business. He's making a statement here with this attack. No. 
The human body can only absorb Jesus. so much of that. Anyone who knows anything about Shinsuke Nakamura knows this man is a precision striker and accomplished grappler. And Nakamura hits an opponent with the Kinshasa. Oh, oh no, what is this? What is this? Uh -oh. oh, Brain Buster? He has a Brain Buster as a signature? What a shot. Incredible. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Don't tell me it's like a guillotine. What is this? Kyle O'Reilly setting it up. Really oh, it is a guillotine here. What a maneuver. Talk about a painful move. Oh, shit. I was right the whole time. Oh, I'm about to tap. I am about to tap. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're Who good. knows what's going to happen? This match could go anywhere. Off me. Oh, I like that he had a he facial expression out. there, at the least. You can tell from the big head right mode. An incredible chop. Some of the moves execute the way faster than it should. I'm getting my ass kicked by O'Reilly. He changed the pace. Oh, I think this man needs business. And he delivers a knee. Another Liker bomb. Yeah, I'm nice. about long-term injuries for sure. When this guy's on, look out. Yow. Oh. Now, is measuring it. Just an unforgiving slam. This one is over. Are you? Oh, it's not a running finisher this year. This we got a cover. He's got to be running. How come he doesn't have one strong from the yet. corner? That's my that's my one concern. He's inflicting some serious pain here. That's always concerned me. Yeah, he doesn't have one in the corner. That's really weird. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Shinsuke Nakamura may have. Kinshasa! This one's over, guys. His shoulders are down. Yeah, I don't like that. One, two, three. Whatever. Yes! <laughs> look at Adam Cole over there. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Landslide. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes are telling me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Jesus, the ropes. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. This fucking dragon suplex caught me off guard. Here is your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nicely done. Picking up the win here. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. Well, that was indeed a great match. And I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this oh my. is. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on just a damn second. <laughs> I'm saving that. Oh my god. What is his face? I gotta send this to my friend right now. Hold on. I'm sending it to Discord. Oh my god. What is this? I'm just gonna leave it like this for a bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is this picture?
<laughs> oh my god. What is his face? Oh my goodness. Jesus, that's so scary. <laughs> Okay, so let's check out this, uh, is there, there's no tower mode yet, right? That's not a thing yet. Oh, you have to do it with the, oh wait, do you have to do it with the player? You don't have to do that with the player. Oh, it's with here, okay. That's right, 2k towers. Let's see how this goes. Let me make a projector here so I can see it on the other end. In towers, you compete in a gauntlet of matches against W superstars. Each tower features a unique theme, match rules, win conditions, stipulations. There are several tower goals to complete for each tower. Earn goals by completing these goals. Gauntlet in a gauntlet tower, you need to complete in one session. Quitting early or losing a match resets your progress back to zero. Steps in a steps tower. Each match can be conquered one at a time as you progress. As your progress is saved along the way. There's no penalty for leaving the tower. Resuming the progress later. So we need to do the gauntlet, right? Oh my god, this is rock one too? This is... <laughs> Dastardly dudes. Oh god, the Braun Strowman one. Oh my god, there's difficulties. Okay, I see him now. Okay. The hard one. Is Braun Strowman hard? It is. Legend, Asuka. Oh boy. Okay, I see how this goes. Let's start off with uh, this normal difficulty here. Tower goal score 15,000 points. Thir for complete all matches. 40,000 points. Rowdy Roddy Piper as Ric Flair. Okay. 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 I get to wear that outfit too. Woo!
The following contest is a submission match. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 232 pounds, the Nature Boy. Is there a better entrance in all of sports entertainment than Ric Flair's? Uh, <laughs> oh my top, goodness, sure. styling, so, profiling, <gasps> woo, I can't do it right. <laughs> Same goddamn entrance since like 2K15. <laughs> oh, guys, what an incredible treat! Oh, returning to the game. And his opponent from Blackbone Fashion, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Even though he's not Scottish. He's Canadian. The legendary I mean, that's probably uh, his ethnic background, probably from his family, but I don't know. WWE Hall of Famer, one of the all time greats. Yeah, the unmistakable. Hot-tempered personality, fiery, volatile style inside the ring. Iron Hot Rod pretty much summed up your and I relationship in one phrase. Don't throw rocks at a man that's got a machine. Piper looking good, man. Normal match win submission only. Oh, yeah, that's no problem. Oh, it's 20 minutes? We got to hit like four. We got to get at least a four-star match, man. Oh, my God. It's a chop with an animation. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not. That was just me. How does he have that submission already? Oh, he automatically has it. I also have a finisher, too. I just realized. So it's not about trying to finish the match early. We got to get some stars in here. Like, yo, Ric Flair got the gut wrench. Oh my good. What is this? What's happening? Oh my God. Oh. Oh no. Oh, single leg. Oh, it's a young boy move. Damn, I got my arm on that rope. Damn. My head is already red, my guy. That finisher did a lot of damage. Many consider Ric Flair to be the greatest world heavyweight champion of all time. The standard bearer by which all champions are measured. The nature boy also prides himself on being the dirtiest player in the game. A nasty kick there. And a powerful kick. Wow. No, nice butterfly. Jeez. Jeez, Rick. For the leg. Whether it be pulling tights, wearing brass knuckles, or calling in backup like the four horsemen. It's not cheating if you don't get caught, Cole. And Ric Flair rarely got caught. He may be the dirtiest player, but he's also a winner. For that leg, baby. Spinning toe hold. Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on. He's struggling a bit here. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has a Mongolian chop. Oh, woo! A beating. It's make or break time here. He absolutely. I thought I was about to whip out a dragon screw here. Yeah, he's really going for the legs. Oh boy, he is rolling. Reverse. Oh no. 
Why? I, I was running to. I, I had the the running command. Oh, well, not today, my boy. Nice. What's my saving? Oh, is it a knee drop? Oh boy. This one's over, guys. Ric Flair is getting ready here. Oh, just a regular figure four? You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Game, set, match. This one is over. This Doesn't is matter. I saw another finisher. For Ric Flair. Most WWE champions had to overcome a single opponent to claim the biggest prize. Gets his leg go now. His legs are pretty much orange. Or even five other men in the elimination chamber. Oh, it's red. But Ric Flair beat 29 other men to win his first WWE title at the 1992 Royal Dra Rumble. Oh, he, the boy does have the he dragon screw. At the oh, my Royal goodness. Rumble. He literally outlasted everyone since he entered the match. At they were close three. to four stars. We're really close. And was there to toss out Shit. The final competitor as well. That's true, Saxon. It's impressive. Oh, I countered counter his running attack. I knew it was coming. It was a performance true Let's go up top here. Can we go up top? Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Superplex? Top? The word in the or top rope one? The oh, my God. It's a top rope. What is it? Wait a minute. Oh, a double underhook? Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Ric Flair is nothing to fuck with right here. I, I fuck with it. Yeah, he's one of the most energetic performers in WWE. Again, history. make him bleed, Flair. That has got to be it. Returning to your point about Ric Flair. Being oh, Ric Flair. Flair <laughs> oh, he's actually down. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Excellence in sports entertainment. And he was the first superstar to become a 16-time world champion there's one other word that should be linked to rick flair fellas and that's best nice knee your boy spent 34 years as one of this industry's top guy flair is in business oh signature figure four that's oh good. he did the woo he's so dud oh wow never mind holy shit Is it and you can debate whether or not that would have been oh the now it's purple he is now. so screwed hello can I drag okay never mind Rick Flair is getting ready here now the regular figure four just a just a generic looking one figure four time that's what he was looking for Michael Roddy Piper's chances just went from bad to worse Done it. Oh boy. Here is your winner, the nature boy, Rick Flair. This one's over, folks. Rick Flair picks up the win. Bomb, 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 bomb. Woo! We're so close to 200 followers. We're at one follower away from it. Sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win. If that was normal mode? Like, come on. I think we'll be fine with easy. I mean, we did good there. The three and a half stars? Not bad. I was going, I was going for four. Currently, we have 6,000 points. Oh, man. Scoring's going to be, uh, scoring's going to be tough. Oh, I have to... Hmm, I have to actually beat The Undertaker. Falls count anywhere, huh? Then we're gonna face Macho Man, and then I don't know who that last one is. Could that be AJ Stop? No, that's probably Ricky the Dragon, actually. We're gonna skip the entrances here. Oh, wait, never mind. This is Undertaker first. Oh, okay. I haven't seen this yet. The legend is here. Oh, Ric Flair is in the ring. Oh, it's going to keep going. That's right. Change 
what the fuck? Ric Flair, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. He's <laughs> just chilling out there. Nice guy. Okay. Always finish last, but bad asses. Always kicking ass. Oh, uh -huh. You want to learn about longevity? What it takes to remain a superstar, top tier level, your entire career here? Well, look at this man, the Undertaker. Changing with the times, but just as dominant. Yo, take your arm ready, dude. Falls count anywhere, pin or submission. Okay. You can feel the electricity running through the yeah. screen. This is going to be some battle. One on one. Mano a mano. And the beauty of this falls count anywhere match oh, means man. we might just have the deciding fall take place right here in front of us. The nature boy may be oh, flashy man. with his robes and struts, but he's also all business in that ring. I can point to at least 16 times. Oh boy. Oh, I got him down this time. Okay, nice. Uh-oh. I'm going, Chop. Undertaker looking mortal here. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. Woo! One-on-one atmosphere where he thrives. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love that taunt so much. How's he oh, the eye poke. He's just so going straight for the leg. That's how it is. That's how this is how it goes. Oh, wow, that's a new audio. Michael Cole calling that the right move. Nicely done. What is it that the Undertaker is looking to do to change his luck at this point? Oh, no, this is where he comes back. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's gonna want to make some changes. Oh my! Oh my God! The DT cell. Ouch! Unfortunately for him. Whoa! Dragon screw. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Ric Flair is getting ready here. Oh, uh, here we go. I'd say the ball's kind of oh, no one does it better. Right, fall count anywhere. There's no DQ. The end of the oh, fuck. Never mind. Can't get a fucking weapon from that side. Oh, I can't go. Really? You got me fucked up. Oh, I can't grab any weapons. What are you taunting for? As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson Sergeant Slaughter alley fight had many of the elements of a Falls Count Anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. Set him up beautifully. Yeah, I need to see a Ric Flair chop block. I need to see one right now, man. Wonder. I wonder if he has it right here. Yes. That can only be described as severe. I'm handling Taker pretty damn well. Nice. Oh, really, Michael Cole? Thank you. Shit. This is where I die. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, he's got to come back. Oh no. He's raising the arm. Shit. I legit can't tell when he's gonna strike. It's really weird. It's unpredictable now. In a way. Hard to argue your take on this match, Michael. When there are no rules to enforce, the official sole responsibility in a match like this is to simply declare the victor. Yeah, the referee may only have one job, but I'm still. What's another finisher he has here? I need to know. Or another signature. Middle rope knee drop. He finds a way to mess it up. When this guy's on, look out. Ric Flair needs to do something here. The knee drop. From the second rope right on target. Wow, we might just be witnessing the end of The Undertaker. Oh, strut. Oh, my. Two different woos. Oh, my goodness. 
summoned to overcome a triple threat a fatal four way what am i doing even five other men in the elimination chamber but rick flair is in the figure four that's a oh they timed that perfectly on the end of a match guys i don't know if the other wait what happened oh instant result oh there's resiliency for submissions that's right and he breaks free just when you thought he was out of he broke it off real quick he's targeting the midsection here Wow, ah, but I got two more, baby. I got two more. I'll call the ambulance. It's over. Another three and a half. For celebration tonight, there's few things more humiliating than tapping out to your opponent, and that'll do it here for this one on one match. I hope you enjoyed this, much as this live crowd appears to have enjoyed. And now, Macho Man, you're next. I didn't even pay attention to the points, I don't, I don't know how many points I got. El Idolo. We earned 5,900. That's not a lot compared to what I had. Ric Flair is hard to earn some fucking points here. I'm barely gonna crack 30. Th I'm, I'm not even gonna crack that. No way. Oh shit. Oh, that's dope. Holy shit. Nobody comes back from this. When you think of some of the most personal WWE rivalries, you can't help but think of the bad blood between Savage and Flair, which came to What kind of match is this again? I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> Pinner submission, okay. But DQ, it's on. Damn, okay. At WrestleMania 8. That rivalry was so personal, especially for Randy Savage. The uh -oh. notorious ladies' man, Ric Flair, started rumors about Miss Elizabeth, and Randy Savage couldn't wait to get him in the squared circle. And man, I never oh. get tired of watching these guys compete. This kind of offense he's known for. Stomp him. Oh. Connects. Yeah, tell him off. Woo. Oh, shit, I missed that. How? Oh, look at that duck. 
Seems like oh. Randy Savage is starting to fade, but it's gonna take a oh, little shit. more than that to stop him here tonight. Yo, does he have his own sound effect? Sure get too out of hand for him. Sometimes momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated Come on, Rick. He is here We're getting fucked over here. Over a early, Piss. Get the hell out of here. Left in him. Still seems a little early. What? Uh oh. Now we have Randy Savage. Oh my head. goodness. In my head. Momentum I'm gonna bleed. On the Nature Boy side. If you look up the word champion in the dictionary, there should be a full page picture of Ric Flair in his diamond sequin robe in that classic WCW World Heavyweight Championship. I hate these slow little grappling moments here. Oh, we're wrestling. Returning to your point about Ric Flair being champion, Michael, Flair's amazing body of work spans the globe and is the oh. excellence in sports entertainment. Hot and shot was the first superstar guillotine. To become a 16 time oh. world champion. There's one other word that should be linked. Look out. Ric Flair is measuring. There have been a lot of romances in Ooh. Nobody does it quite like him. I need a woo, Rick. Come on, give me a woo. What? That's another time, huh? Chop block! <laughs> come on, Rick. Oh, come on. Oh, oh my, he need me during my chop block. Holy shit, I just realized this Ric Flair has three reversal stocks only. I guess all that love and sunshine can't last forever. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Choke him. A blatant disregard for the rules here. Player is in position. No figure four. Woo! Let's go for one early. Let's get those he's points really in. To prove a point here. Nowhere to go here. For oh, he's got seven. resiliency. Oh, he used I have a it. This isn't going to end well for him. The macho man need. Whoa. He gets out of it. He's at another level Damn. right now, Michael. Used it way too early, my dude. Oh, I got him busted open. What the hell? Here's a cover. Oh boy, he is rolling. No, no, no. I guess I had to let go. Because I need, I need him at the top oh rope. We need, this we need more good. stars, no man. I can't do three and a half stars all the time. Oh there. shit! Oh, oh! I got you, buddy. Rick Flair is nature boy with the knee drop. That's what he was looking for, Michael. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, I need to wait for that stamina. Rick Flair is getting a figure four leg lock. Now destroy his legs. Four stars now. Thinking of big moments in Randy Savage's career, I think of WrestleMania 3 when he and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat stole the God show. God damn it. I'm not sure Savage wants to remember the match because he ended up losing, but it is considered to be one of the greatest matches in WWE history. And maybe one of the first show stealing performances at a WrestleMania, too. Go for that spinning toe hole. Get those legs. To inject my opinion on that classic between Savage and Steamboat, I'm still mad about it. Randy was about to finish off the dragon with the ring bell, but George the Animal Steel interfered. Uh, you may be the only one with that feeling, Corey. A little trivia about that highly touted match. That was the first time the Intercontinental title ever changed hands at a WrestleMania. He's going for it all. Oh, he's got a signature. Randy Macho Man Savage. Oh, the axe handle. Oh, no. Unpredictable competitors to ever. Whoa. Yeah, right. Get the hell. I ain't selling no axe handle. You got any... <laughs> Double axe handle who? Oh, no. Okay, reverse my finisher. Okay, that's just, this is not okay. Never mind. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. Where are you going?
Macho man, you ain't going nowhere. Are these superstars? And Ric Flair makes him pay in the worst way. Does he ever? And that should end Macho Man. Ooh, no one does it better. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Flair is in position. Ooh. Oh, it just yawned right there. <laughs> Perfect timing. Four full stars at least. Come on. We can... Oh, why is it tougher still? Jeez. Oh my god. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. Oh, small package. Fuck it. He's going for the pin. Oh, come on. Oh. I'm mad. Let's go for something big. We got full reversals on deck. We're going to the top. We've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? Oh, what? Oh. Too fast for him. No. Poke in the eyes. <laughs> Back to the corner. That's not the corner. There he goes, crashing to the floor. He's in a vulnerable spot now, guys. Look at him. He's wide open for attack. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. Oh, no, don't do stink, guys. Oh, no. Oh, I'm busted up. Bringing it back into the ring. Oh, please don't. What the hell is this? Oh my god, what what is happening? I'm in the twilight world. Oh, he's gonna go for the elbow Rick Rick Rick, please Rick, please Oh Get fucked Get wait, what the fuck? Okay Knee drop do the knee, please What the fuck was that teleporting? I don't care. We're gonna win. Oh, he locks in a torturous figure four. That's how you put an exclamation point on Oh, there we go. It's over. Four and a half stars, baby. The best match we've done out of the three. One more match. I think it's Ricky Dragon. Ricky the Dragon. Ricky the Dragon. Dwangin. Gonna feel the effects of this. Do 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 that was mild, I won't let go. Wow, 10,000 for like a four and a half stars? Okay. Damn, that could have gotten 40,000 legit. Oh, there's more. Okay, this could be my chance though. This could be my chance. A Dusty's the last one. If I can get 10,000 for this one and 10,000 the next one. A true pioneer. And his opponent from Honolulu, Hawaii, weighing in at 235 pounds, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. When a superstar enters the ring to go oh. The white outfit. They're entering battle against one of the most decorated and revered competitors ever. There we go. Let's go.
Submission only. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you could show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE is all about. Let's go for four and a half stars or four stars. Opponents of all shapes and sizes while holding several singles and tag team championships. Oh, God. Lightning speed, the martial arts expertise, and the fire to go well beyond the limit. The dragon has it all, Saxton. Still don't know why there's no ref in here. the ring. They should totally do that. Can have a second ref at the door. Get the fuck off me, man. Close line. Next game, I'm um, going for UFC 3. I'm hoping to get that pretty soon. Got to make some room, too. It's not an easy atmosphere to excel in. Not only is he in the ring with WWE's toughest, Whoa. he's surrounded by an incredibly unforgiving steel cage. This thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys, and you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. <laughs> oh, guys, there's the oh, Matt Slam with some attitude. Huh, Matt Slam, one of the the, the biggest moves in history. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your reaction, Michael Cole. Jesus Christ. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat looking a bit uneasy here. Oh you no. Wonder if he could recover from this guys. He wants to win this thing. Ouch. He's need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to oh, escape. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this. Oh no, there's no escape. I was like, why are you climbing the cage? I forgot you can you can jump off of it now. Let me do this too. I can do this too. You don't think I can, fool? Oh, I fucked up. Why? Wow, I... Yeah, Ric Flair's got the leap. Oh my god! Oh, crushing the knee here. Ah, stopping the leg. Just nasty. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Ouch. Flair is in position. The best way to describe it. Oh, this is not how the dragon saw things playing out. Hopefully, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat can recover. Is there anybody more outgoing than the Nature Boy? Nope. Nobody. Oh, here it is. The hell is this? Jeez. For a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the Sounds like a scoop power slam kind of thing. High, Showing off that strength. He has a comeback? Much more than a mark in the loss column. Ricky Steamboat may have it. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Oh my God, the chops. The dragon here, guys. Jesus. He unleashed a vicious dragon out there. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Reaper Hall applied. Warm up the bus. This one is over. Yo, what? Get the hell off me, man. And he fights his way free. He's got What's wrong with you? Right now, Whoa! Four and a half stars. Or three and a half. He's some oh, he's got resiliency. He used this it. Is not how the you bitch. Oh, what the? He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. I was going for the arm. It's going to twist my arm. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Oh, my head, my face. Oh, my God, he's and guys for Flair, his back really against the wall. Yeah, don't count the nature boy out yet, though. Tonight may not be his night, guys. The look on his face right now tells me he'd rather be anywhere else in the, the hell off me. No, it's not over yet. Wow, part of me thought he was gonna tap. Oh, I fucked that up. It was supposed to be hard grapple. Does he only have hard grapple? Look at this. Yeah, right. Somebody oh, he reversed my finisher. 
He got him good there. I like the uh, each hard strike has like its own different animation now. Like it, it's not just one animation. Cause that chop you can either get, fall down or you just you take a hit and you pretty much still stand. Oh my God, it's a shoulder fucking claw in the shoulder. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Oh man, what's this? Oh, it's a monkey foot. Yeah, I know it. That's a diva's move, man. What are you doing? The women or the women's division, I mean. What's this? Ouch. I need something, Flair. Come on, baby. Oh, fuck. Stupid power slam. Running power slam. Wasn't really running, but it's a. Uh, something. Reversals are hard, man. Oh, no. The claw to the shoulder, Cole. Michael. He's not afraid to go hold for hold and wear down his opponent. He's going for the top rope again. He's going to try and fly. What's wrong with you? He's the Poke the eye. Lands a quick punch. He's just playing classic offense here. Oh boy, he is rolling. Why are you so far? The, oh no, on my knees. I just destroyed my knees. Get off me, dude. Poke the eye. Oh no. And Ricky Sebo too quick that time. Absolutely sudden. He has a fin he has two finishers. Ricky the Dragon Sebo got him there. Oh yeah, it's like the cross body, right? Oh, I thought he was going for a submission. I was gonna be fucked. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Yeah, I'm curious to see how long his stamina can hold here. Oh, not the chop. So, oh, reversals are just difficult this year. Ouch. I have to be really lucky. Oh, I reversed that. I reversed that. What? I use the, uh, oh, whatever. I use a reversal slot. Whatever, man. More work for him to do oh, here. no. Fuck. The dragon steamboat reverses it. Where's the payback? I ain't tapping Ric Flair out. Are you crazy? Still got Dusty Rose to go through. And he finds a way free. Wow, that was just pure determination. What? Why did I go for a kick? I went for a run. Oh no, get get the fuck up. Oh my god, splash. He's going up top again. Oh no. Rick. Rick, please. Okay, that's whatever. Rick, please. Are you alive, Rick? At least you can go for the submission one. <sighs> Come on, Rick. Oh, there we go. What? What? Oh, guys, there's. I'm not so sure the body's supposed to absorb that type of impact. Oh, he has no finishers or reversals. It's over. Game set match. This one is over. Oh, he has resiliency. Oh he no, dude! How in the world did he find the energy to do that? Oh, he crucifix! Jeez, I'm fucking dead. Get the fuck off me, dude! I can't even my leg, my arm. From this stretch. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 
Oh, somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free Cole, but I assure you the damage has already been done. Somebody oh, no, he's got sick. This dragon out there. Abuses him with an elbow. And Ric Flair reverses it. Oh, if I could re reverse that mid midway, I guess not. Do I need to reverse some more, man? Oh, oh, I thought I did. Oh, fucking Christ, submissions, dude. I'm so glad it's not the other one. No, he breaks out of it. But does he have enough energy left to get back on the offense? That's his last reversal. Come on, Nate. He gets it with a reversal. Well executed. Interesting decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more. Come on, Rick. Eight minutes. This is a long match, man. He wants five stars, apparently. I'm just gonna wait for my 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 second. Okay, reversal slot. Wait, I thought I reversed that. What the hell is this? Rick, come on, crawl for it, buddy. Oh shit. No. That's his last reversal. This guy can go toe to toe with anybody. I got one more. Come on. Oh, that lag. Oh, that lag. It's killing me. It's killing me. Oh, I think this man needs business. No, ref. Don't count it, ref. Don't look at it. Oh, we're going to survive it. We're going to survive. We're going to survive. Yes. He somehow breaks free. Nice. But he clearly has next to oh. nothing left to give here. Oh, Come on. Come on. Turn around. Turn around, today. fool. Tremendous moves. This Four and a half. No one does it better. Wow. I'm Whoa. It's over. Is in four. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. That's it. Flair just ended this. Woo. Yeah. Oh my God. What a comeback. Holy fuck. He was dominant for like half of that match. Holy shit. That was tough. Now Dusty Rose is gonna be tough too. Fucking Christ. Here is your winner, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instant fucking ten thousand right there. Oh, we're at 30. Th oh, this is it right here. This is gonna get this is this is definitely we're going four stars or four and a half Hell in a cell Yo, Derek We're in the tower mode right now. We just went through a bunch of opponents mood. Oh My god I'm playing Ric Flair. I have to go. Th I have to. I have to play Ric Flair through this tower, uh, tower mode. It's like Mortal Kombat style. Man, I went through a painful bunch of guys already. That Ricky Dragon Steamboat match was crazy. You have to go back and watch that. He dominated like half the goddamn match and I was able to get <laughs> fuck. This is the last match of the tower. Look at this man. He's a fucking baller here. Jesus Christ. This is going to suck. Pin or submission this time. Okay, good. Steel cage match Ricky the Dragon Steamboat it was submission only, so that was like okay. Oh, oh fuck! Oh the elbow! Oh that was his finisher! Oh my god! 
<laughs> Are you kidding me? Am I already bleeding? Oh my god. Nice job by Dusty Rhodes there. Looks like Rick Flair. So it helped me play. Reversals are so hard in this game. Dude, I'm almost dead already. Look at my bar. He's definitely hurting right now, Cole. But he knew exactly what he was getting into when he agreed to a match of this magnitude. He's not looking like himself right now, and I hate to say it, but this might be the end for him here. Come on, Rick. How is that not reverse? Whatever. Nice job by Dusty Rhodes there. A quick reversal by Ric Flair. It's not looking good for Dusty Rhodes. Oh no. Ric Flair still dazed. Flair is weathering this violent storm. He's in big trouble. Oh. Oh no. Rick Come on, Dusty. There. We're going for four stars. I need that 10,000 points. Guys, I think it needs to be said that yes. While we all are enjoying watching this match, oh, I fucked it up. Deny the real dangers these superstars are presented with here tonight. I fucked that up. Oh my god! The ref! Oh my! Oh my god! This man's jabs! What the fuck? Oh my god! With a vicious strike. I have to agree with what Byron was saying about the danger. Oh my god, that shoulder claw again. We, that, that was a bunch of those last match. For once, I agree with both of you. The fact of the matter is that Jesus, those jabs this man was watching UFC <laughs> on his TV or something before this match. Holy shit. Oh my what the fuck? What? What? What the? You play like a, a, a online submission pro bitch. Holy shit! I was just a fucking kid. I have to start over now. I can't do a rematch. God damn! I worked so hard for that. Oh wait, I can still. Oh no, we're good. Never mind. Never mind. Why wouldn't I let us rematch it then? Just had to do it all over. Had to do the whole entrance over. Fuck no. Let's play, man. We gotta use this goddamn cage. I need to win this goddamn tower. I'm out of here. See ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ringside combat. That redefined sports entertainment was the grueling battles between the American Dusty Dusty Rhodes and the Nature Boy Ric Flair. The Rhodes Flair encounters were the Ouch. Of good versus Come on, Matt. Oh, what? Man, and Flair celebrated greed Reversals and are way harder this year, too. It's like you have to be legit on point. You can't just spam the button anymore. Oh, there we go. Dream and the Nature Boy were fueled with such animosity. The Dusty's friends like Magnum TA and the Road Warriors joined him against Flair and his group, the dangerous four horsemen. Stark, the Great American Bash, War Games, you name it. Yeah, so I fought, uh, let's see, who did I fight first? I fought Roddy Piper, then I fought Undertaker 2002, and then, um, Macho Man, then Ricky the Dragon. So that was a tough list. Reversals are so hard. This man had five fucking reversal stocks. Oh, no. It's over. Oh fuck. He's got the shoulders down. This oh. over yet. The nature boy staying in this match with that kick out. Jesus, it's really hard, man. This is normal difficult. Why is he going for the pin again? Get the hell off of me. What's wrong with you? Overcome a single opponent to claim the biggest prize in the game. Some had to overcome a triple threat. There we go. Or even five other men in the elimination chamber. I poke. Other men to win his first oh my god, there's always those reversals on the chops. Come on. Michael mentioned Ric Flair's performance at the 1992 Royal Rumble. 
He literally outlasted Ouch. everyone since he entered the match at number three. Please don't do a submission. And was there to toss out the final competitor as well. That's true, Saxon. It's impressive to win the Rumble at any spot, but Ric Flair was in there with every single competitor and outlasted them all. It was a performance truly worthy of the WWE Championship. Jeez. Nice job by Dusty Rhodes there. If you look up the word champion in the dictionary, there should be a full page. No, not my nuts. All my ribs. And that classic WCW World Heavyweight I've barely champion. done anything to this guy. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh boy, he is rolling. There we go. Signature, come on. This is what makes oh, he reversed the signature. We'll see if Get the hell out of there, Rick. Games take root here. Returning to your point about Ric Flair being champion, Michael. Flair's amazing body of work spans the globe and is the symbol of excellence in sports entertainment. And he was the first superstar to become a 16-time world champion. There's one other word that should be linked to Ric Flair, fellas, and that's best. The Nature Boy spent 34 years as one of this industry's top guys. Come on, it's Dusty. Come on, baiting your ass here. Come on. His daughter, the Queen. A what? Many consider Ric Flair to be the greatest world no. champion of all time. There we go. The standard bearer by which all champions. Oh, grappling's. Are oh my God, the control is weird. What happened? The oh, what the fuck? He has a super kick. Oh damn. Oh, I like that. The, the new animations in this game is really good, though. Well, oh, back of the rig, bad. This guy is crazy. You know what? Never mind. Going back out. I want to open this cage door. He's also a winner. Fuck. Executed perfectly. Oh no! What the hell? What happened? Guys, we oftentimes talk about the dangers of competing inside Hell in a Cell. Well, let's not forget these competitors aren't the only ones in there. Oh, waiting for that third reverse of stock. Oh, he's he's oh he's doing his finisher. I'm fucked. Oh, I couldn't reverse it. Oh, there's no way. No, there's no way. Holy shit. He is hard. This is like fighting Shao Kahn over and over again. It's like Mortal Kombat 3 all over again. America. Oh, no funny business. We need to get the four stars, though. I need to get those 10,000 points. There we go. Yeah, this. No! Oh, he used the finisher right away! Holy fuck! Who's Brian Dale is it to do finishers like. Right in the beginning of the match? I don't get it. Why does this game mode have that? That's crazy. Now oh, get the fuck off me, man. What? Oh! A big problem is Dusty has five reversal slots. I only have three. Oh, reverse. Dang it. What the heck? Ric Flair is a force within the ring. You have to think that's it. I really don't like what they did with this mechanic. What? Now it's Dusty Rhodes playing some defense. Well, these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. If this is the only damage he walks away from, Blaine this EA, before, he should consider himself. Oh. I mean, 2K? But let's face it, that's just <laughs> not when you're inside the cell. He's Come on, exactly break the damn cage already, dudes. This is what we want. Right back into this match. 
There we go. Finally, can I get, can, can I get out of here, please? Most WWE what's, what's going on here? Single opponent to claim the biggest prize in the game. Some had to overcome a triple threat. A fatal oh, come on. I just want to go outside with this new cell thing that they have now. To win his first WWE title at the 1990 and Dusty Rhodes makes the cover. Rick I swear to God, if I couldn't kick out of that. Oh, wow. Ow, that hurt. Knee drops. That was nasty. Ouch. So precise. I'm just gonna pop. Come on, I need a reverse and go for the figure four right away. He literally outlasted everyone since the end come, on, of the match come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Reversals are so hot. No, not the camel clutch. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we need Mauro Ronaldo. I don't know why he's not in this game. Doesn't make sense. And outlasted them all. It was a performance truly worthy of the WWE Championship. Yeah, he's one of the most energetic performers in WWE history. Okay, boy, get up. Get up, big boy. There we go. Oh, he does the woo. He's got resiliency. Yes, he does. Okay, he he used it right away. That's a waste. I did no damage to his legs too. Oh fuck. Nice job by Dusty Rhodes there. Escape. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. What the fuck? He's inflicting some serious pain here. Dusty Rhodes looks like he's. Oh, I can't taunt in the cage. I forgot. Or inside. That's really stupid. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come down to which superstar is the next to make a mistake. Nice job. Fuck. And he's heading back in. Yeah, they limited the combat in uh, outside of the cage. I want to go out so I can climb on top. Oh, not the elbow. Oh, no. The elbow. Oh! Unreal. It's going to take more than that. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh, he went for the finisher. He went straight for the finish. Oh no. Shit, I couldn't reverse this. Oh, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. I'm out. See ya. Oh, I'm out. I'm out now. Okay. So this is how you do it. I can't believe this one. I can't climb? Yes, I can. After the beating that's been delivered tonight. Come up here, dude. Climb down. Why would I climb down? What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. How come I can't? Can Rick not go up here? Oh, never mind. I have to press L1 for this. Yeah, this is different animation. He's like right here. Oh, no. Get the fuck off me, dude. You crazy? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, wait. is he? He's about to die. He is about to die. He is about... Oh, my God. Dusty's dead. Literally. <laughs> he died again. The intensity of this match. You don't need a finisher for that. He just do that right away. Whoa. Come on, Dusty. Come back here. We got three and a half stars now. We're close to four stars. This is good enough. Superstars right now as this hell in a cell match. Oh my god, he reversed my grapple. Oh my face. Oh 
Oh god. Oh god. Airplane spin. Oh my. oh no. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Oh my god. Pop. This man hitting all the goddamn moves. This man survives a fall. He's about to Is he really climbing down? He's going to let me recover? At this point it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. Oh, we got seven minutes. Let's just do a time right here. Oh God, Rick, please don't fall. Looks like both these superstars have found that really? little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Come on, Dusty. Oh, Rick is really beaten up right now, dude. Oh shit, that's dangerous. I have to press L1. Okay. Here, guys. I really don't like that. Do what the fuck? Oh, he's going for his finish. Oh <gasps> Reverse, motherfucker! Guillotine. Like exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. Oh, he reversed my figure four. Oh no, I'm sleep. Oh, he hit it this time. I'm dead. I'm dead. After all that. Oh, Jesus, he is so tough. I can't leave this tower. I have to finish this. If I leave this tower, I have to start over from the beginning. There's no way I'm doing that. Look at all this. Damn. It all changed when he went down. I was trying to hurt him a lot up on, the, on top of the cage. I'm not going to end the stream until I fucking finish this. Oh... I'm gonna charge out of die use your reversals you fuck between the America dream dusty Rhodes and the nature boy Rick Flair the Rhodes Flair encounters oh here he only has one reversal left he tried to use his finisher right there oh my god oh no the electricity in the air for this hell in a cell match the battles between the American dream has no finishers left such animosity and Dusty's friends like Magnum TA and the Road Warriors joined him against Flair and his group. There we go. Early figure four. Can he finish the job? No, but. Dusty Road showing signs of fatigue. He's going to want to make sure. Damn, he's got high submission defense. Holy There's shit. There's no way to prepare yourself for the mental and physical anguish you go through when competing in a Hell in a Cell match. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Oh, shit. Let's we'll see how he reacts here. He still has no reversals here. Of course, guys, we all remember when the Hell in a Cell debuted oh in 1997 and the structure look. But it's worth noting that the cell has become even more ruinous in recent years. Oh my face hit the steps. What the fuck is going on here? No luck against Flair there. Are you surprised? Rick Flair is not someone to sleep on. Now it's Dusty in defense mode. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. You know, Corey's point about the cell evolving in recent years is absolutely right. In fact, Byron, the structure is now well over five tons. And I believe that's more than twice oh, as no. the original cell, Michael. And <laughs> he did in the middle of my taunt. Come on. Come on, Dusty. That's some cheap shit. Right in the middle of the strut. Oh, no, the finisher. That's right. Oh, man. Nobody does it. He's going for the pin. Oh. oh. Wait, what? Oh my god, this is tough. I'm I'm gonna have to like not talk. 
I'm gonna turn off my mic. I'm gonna turn on the game. I'm gonna turn up the game now. Big singles win right here, guys. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment they had. One of the most epic robberies that redefined sports entertainment was the grueling battles between the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Nature Boy Ric Flair. The Rhodes Flair encounters were the epitome of good versus evil. Dusty was the common man. The bionic elbow from the dream. And put it if you will. Here's his chance. Flair quickly getting the shoulder up. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Looks like Ric Flair is fading here. If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. You know, I thought this match was going to be much more tightly contested. I guess that's not the, the cover. Seems early. And I can't believe this match is still going on. Not yet. Drops the elbow. Guys, we all know the storied history of Hell in a Cell, but we'd be remiss if we didn't at least mention that the first time anybody laid eyes on this demonic structure was back in October 1997 at the Bad Blood pay-per-view. Ric Flair is a force within the ring. Lights up his chest with a chop. again on the first time we saw the Hell in a Cell structure. I don't think anybody at the time could have envisioned the truly merciless moments this structure would provide over the years. And amazingly, Michael, those moments somehow become more and more barbaric with each passing match. And Ric Flair reverses it. He's flagrantly breaking the rules. This could cause irreparable damage. Come on, ref! That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. Got the shoulders down. He wins! I can't believe it! He survived his journey through hell! Here is your winner, the American Dream. During the 1980s, the flamboyance and flash of nature boy Ric Flair clashed with the epitome of the working man and the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. Their battles for the world heavyweight. The figure four leg lock. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. I think Dusty Rhodes is showing signs of fatigue. But he's very aware of who he's in there oh, with man. and what he has to do to rebound. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. Dusty Rhodes just too fast for him. Most WWE champions had to overcome a single opponent to claim the biggest prize in the game. Some had to overcome a triple threat, a fatal four-way, or even five other men in the elimination chamber. But Ric Flair beat 29 up Dusty. Oh, my oh, elbow from the American Dream. And the fight must go on. It's going to take more than that.
Michael mentioned Ric Flair's performance at the... His shoulders are down. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. Too early in the match to end it. Like the man himself says, it's time to get funky like a monkey. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. Using his knee now. I don't know about you guys, but for me, there is no greater thrill than being at the announce desk for a Hell in a Cell match. He hits a huge elbow drop. Look at this. You know, I'm a little surprised, Corey, to hear you talk about the thrill of announcing a Hell in a Cell match, considering you were there when Shane McMahon shattered the announce desk at Hell in a Cell 2017. I was there too, Michael, and I'll tell you, I will never look at Hell in a Cell matches the same after that. You were? He's displaying classic offense here. Oh, I think this man needs business. And guys, for Flair, his back really against the wall. Yeah, don't count the Nature Boy out yet, though. His outlook is not good at all. Yeah. Things certainly appear to be trending in the wrong direction for him right now. Unbelievable move by Dusty Rhodes. This one's over, guys. Dusty Rhodes with the victory. Here is your winner, the American Dream. During the 1980s, the flamboyance and flash of Nature Boy Ric Flair clashed with the epitome of the working man and the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. Their battles for the World Heavyweight Championship redefined the NWA. It was the classic clash of good versus evil, Michael. The rivalry reached such hostility that boxing legend Smokey Joe Frazier served as special guest referee for their match at Starcade. 1984. Returning to the Flair Rhodes rivalry, Byron, the confrontations were so personal they caused other competitors to be swept in its undertow. Flair rode with his four horsemen and the American Dream enlisted NW with the figure four. That was simply amazing. That's it. Flair just ended this. Woo! Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. KO punch! Dusty Rhodes in a bit of trouble here. This very well may be too much for him to handle. He's definitely hurting right now, Cole. But he knew exactly what he was getting into when he agreed to a match of this match. 
Thinking about a submission here, can uh, he... What a blow! He, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Dusty... Oh, oh behind the elbow from the American Dream. Can he finish the job? Digging deep for a kick out. Ric Flair never ceases to amaze me. Woo! Yeah, he's one of the most energetic performers in WWE history. If he just took, he fights his way free. But how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Ric Flair is not someone to sleep on. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. And guys, we're seeing Dusty Rhodes in a tough situation. And I'm not sure he even knows where he is. Yeah, things look bleak right now. Uh, setting him. He might be trying to take out the leg here. That's anything but comfortable, guys. Got the leg. That's bringing your opponent down to the mat. Hard. That'll do it every time. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Oh boy, he is rolling. When this guy's on, look out. Flair is in position. Oh, and a knee drop right to the jaw. That has got to be it. Look out. Ric Flair is measuring. He's got it locked. He's just torturing his foe with great precision. Oh, man, this has been a nightmare for the American dream. That's a brutal way to have to land on the canvas. Things have gotten worse for Ric Flair. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. If you had your money on him winning this Hell in a Cell match, I think it's safe to say you lost. Sorry, guys. Let's remember, though, guys, his opponent doesn't seem to be in great shape either. Dusty Rhodes just too fast for him. No, it's not over yet. Wow. Part of me thought he was going to tap, Cole. Ric Flair is the figure four leg lock. Woo! To borrow the line from you, Cole, that's vintage Ric Flair right there. up and made his opponent tap out. Here is your winner, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Put a check in the win column for Ric Flair. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. East Rutherford hasn't sat down since the bell rang. I think they're in awe over what they just saw.
guys. What an incredible treat. <laughs> Singles action is underway, Ouch. and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. He lands a piercing chop. Look, Rick Flair is on the attack now. Got him with the elbow drop. Make this man mean business. He's starting to stagger a bit. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Oh. Nothing to worry about. Oh, guys, there's what a blow to the back of the neck. Ric Flair is a force within the ring. Ooh no one does it better. Now, that's what I call making a statement. He gets it with a reversal. How is the ref not seeing this? Oh boy, he is rolling. That lands. Look out. With the figure four. <laughs> Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. This is a huge opportunity for Ric Flair. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Got the leg. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Woo! Look, Rick Flair is on the attack now. Wow! What a match! Look at this! Momentum not on the Nature Boy's side. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. This could be trouble, guys. His opponent has finally found an opening, and he doesn't look too eager to relinquish it. And Roddy Piper slips out of harm's way! Disqualify this man. Wow, what a leg sweep. Big time move. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. That's how you make an impact. Ric Flair is getting ready here. Oh, and a knee drop right to the jaw. Game, set, match. This one is over. Crushing hit. Ric Flair is showing Whoa. some of that flair right now. Woo! How's this going on? How's the official missing this? This capacity crowd is beside it. Playing dirty here. Taking out with a Russian leg sweep. Your slam. Oh no. Dangerous spot for him to be in. You gotta figure out a way to get back in it, guys. Superplex! 
He's making a statement here with this attack. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Toss to the outside. He wants no part of the outside. Oh, man. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh! Right to the back. Flair is in position. The knee drop! From the second rope, right on target. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Ric Flair is... The figure four leg lock! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? That's it. Flair just ended this. Woo! We're coming to you live from East Rutherford, New Jersey, the site of historic WrestleMania 29. What an amazing display of power. Here we go. One move after the other. It's devastating. And his elbow finds the mark. How's he getting away with this is beyond me. Just a brutal move. Brought in the hard way. Flair is a force within the ring. Nature Boy is going on next rail on him. Flair is in position. Woo! Just when you thought he had nothing left. Look out. Rick Flair is measuring. Clearly on a mission here. That should do it. That's it. Flair just ended this. Woo! This singles match has come to an end. Wow. Here is your winner, the Nature Boy.
I've never had it easy in WWE. I've had injuries. I was released twice, and just when I had scratched and clawed my way to the top, my in-ring career was over. I could have sat at home, satisfied with what I accomplished, but I decided that's not how I wanted my story to end. I wanted to show myself, my family, and anyone who's gone through adversity in life that you need to take on whatever challenges you face and fight for your dreams. Well, we might as well get on the Daniel Bryan bandwagon. Right after I graduated high school, I moved from Washington down to Texas to train at Shawn Michaels School. It wasn't too long after that that I was signed by WWE. When I first got signed by WWE in 2000, I had no idea really what to expect. Most of the guys on TV had been wrestling for years and years, and at that point I'd only been wrestling for six months. Since I was still really new to all this, I was sent to hone my craft at WWE's developmental territory, which at the time was in Memphis. Luckily. William Regal was a trainer there and he helped me out a lot. So with the WWE contract and Hall of Fame trainers, Brian Danielson was on the fast track to success, right? No, not quite. I was released in 2001, the first time I was released by WWE. It was really hard actually because I really didn't know what to do. William Regal told me this is a chance to learn. This is a chance to go travel the world, find who you are as a wrestler and find who you are as a person. So I went back to the Indies and touring in Japan. But soon after that, in 2003, Brian Danielson made his triumphant return to WWE. Well, sort of. Brian Danielson from Aberdeen, Washington. I returned for some one-off matches on WWE's weekend shows, Sunday Night Heat and Velocity. I like this too. Look at that, nice monkey flip. Well, you know this Brian Danielson is a very accomplished young man. We've seen him in the past and he's very, very good. I didn't really have a goal other than it was good exposure on TV. And one of these matches happened to be against a young up-and-comer named John Cena. Surely this would be my big break, right? Welcome everybody to WWE Velocity. Michael Cole here alongside Corey Graves and Byron Saxton. We kick things off with John Cena against a local competitor named Brian Danielson. I gotta say, Cole, I'm surprised Cena's not rapping at all tonight. Well, that's because John Cena is focused. He's facing Brock Lesnar on SmackDown next week, and he's going to make an example of Brian Danielson right here tonight. Ooh, that hurt. What a sharp one right to the cheekbone. This Brian Danielson guy looks a little nerdy, but apparently he's got a pretty impressive pedigree. Where did he come from? Cole, Brian Danielson began his training with a former WWE champion, Monday Night Raw's own Shawn Michaels. 
before his big comeback, HBK actually started a wrestling school, and we're seeing one of its graduates. Back in control of Cena, right back to the arm. A great strategy, weaken the poor, powerful Cena by taking away one of his arms. Ryan sticking to his wheelhouse, not taking any unnecessary risks here against John Cena. Oh, just looking to control and neutralize the bigger man. Cena, though, back to his feet, and Brian continues to work on the arm, but now Cena, test of strength, and you don't want to get into a power battle with John. Absolutely not. Cover here. And a kick out. What? And again, Cena powering Danielson down. Oh, look at this incredible core strength by Danielson. Cena cannot believe that he can't get Danielson's shoulders on the mat. Gonna try it again, and Danielson able to come oh, and send Cena flying. Incredible sequence. Oh, oh man, Cena just took Danielson's head off. We say that sometimes there's no replacement for brute force. John Cena is showing his strength there in the early going, getting the upper hand on Danielson. Yeah, Danielson's got some technical skill, but he's starting to be overwhelmed by Cena's brute force. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Look at the eyes of John Cena. The expression on his face here is very clear. We may be looking at a powerbomb here. That's exactly what it looks like to me, Cole. I think Cena is a little surprised by the offense of this relative unknown. Cena's new attitude may have made him overlook Danielson, but if he refocuses, he should easily take control back here. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. A oh, stop in the leg! This is nasty. Oh, I think this man needs business. Panic starting to set in for Cena. This could be a huge upset right here. I'm seeing Shades of Razor Ramon on Raw in 1993, guys. A high-flying nobody is about to beat one of WWE's best. Cena is too distracted by Brock Lesnar on the Fine Buster. Thunderous. But he's got to capitalize now. Oh, my perfectly executed. Oh, man. To the arm, hyper extend your elbow. Now that got those shoulders on the mat and the kick out. Not yet. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, what an enziguri right in the ear. He is a nasty uppercut. John Cena with a nice reversal. Great offense by John Cena. Cena's dominating now as Brian Danielson's inexperience begins to show. He's got the shoulders down. What? Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. Way too early. Now back to the ring. And he lands a savage elbow. He's too quick for him there. There's the cover. Can he do it? And he kicks out. Wow, I thought this was over. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's always had great stamina. See if it can impact and end some. Here's his moment, Michael.
When this guy's on, look out. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Guys, are we about to see a scrawny nerd beat John Cena here on Velocity? It's ruthless aggression's revenge, Michael. I love it. He goes for the cover. Two! Digging deep for a kick out. How'd he do that? If you're Brian Danielson, what do you do at this point as he whips yeah. Cena across the ring? Oh, Cena gets up a boot just in time. And now John Cena looking to take over. Looking up to put oh. Brian Danielson where he wants him. And here's the cover. And he got him. Cena with the wins over Brian Danielson. Here is your winner, John Valiant effort Cena. by Danielson, but Cena was just too much tonight. A hard-fought victory tonight for Cena. Got to be impressed with Cena tonight. A lot of guys would have parlayed competitive matches on heat and velocity into being signed full-time to WWE, but that's not how things turned out. It's like my wife Bree likes to say, if anything was easy for me, I wouldn't be Daniel Bryan. But before I could become Daniel Bryan, I was Bryan Danielson. And as Bryan Danielson, I went on quite the run through the Indies. Over the course of seven years, I won my first world championship and had some amazing matches against guys who went on to become major WWE superstars. Guys like Seth Rollins, Cesaro, all sorts of guys all over the place. A lot of hardcore fans even say these were some of the best matches of my career. Personally, I credit these matches and opponents for helping me build the foundation I would later need to make it as a WWE superstar. Fans on the indie scene weren't the only ones who took notice, because in 2010, WWE re-signed me and Daniel Bryan was officially born. My name is Daniel Bryan. I've been wrestling all over the world, and finally, Finally, I have an opportunity here in the WWE. Although much like childbirth, as I've heard from my wife, this was also a somewhat painful experience. I came back as part of NXT, which wasn't like the NXT that you know and love today. At the time, NXT was a reality show with rookies and pro mentors. Unfortunately, my pro was The Miz. People say that you're great, that you're a star, that you're ready for the WWE. You think you're ready? Yes, yes I do. But well, one thing you have to learn about the WWE is you have to expect anything. I guess he misses by beating a little bit of respect into his NXT rookie. Believe it or not, we didn't get along very well back then either. I think the most ridiculous thing we had to do in NXT was the obstacle course. Okay, so you're gonna do the monkey bars. Then we go in the ring and juggle, juggle. Then you're gonna see how fast you can drink soda. Side note, it was actually supposed to be a hot dog eating contest. When they realized I was vegan and they didn't have any vegan hot dogs, they turned it into a soda drinking contest. I didn't know vegans could drink soda. Not drink at all. I hadn't drank any soda in years. Think, watching that on TV, a grown man just drinking soda from a cup. That's it. Despite that, I did have the tremendous opportunity to show the WWE Universe what I was capable of when I got to face the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho. I loved watching Chris Jericho from the time I was in high school, the stuff that he did in WCW, being able to go against the World Champion on NXT on the first show. Win, lose, or draw, that elevates you. And I was very thankful for that opportunity. We're on the inaugural episode of NXT, the World Heavyweight Champion Chris Jericho taking on the Miz's rookie, Daniel Bryan. I've been looking forward to this main event. WrestleMania is on the horizon, but tonight is a 
a WrestleMania of sorts for all the NXT rookies. Well, Daniel Bryan was excited earlier in the night to be out on the biggest stage of his life, but that was before he knew he was going to face the World Heavyweight Champion. He's going to have to learn to take Miz's advice if he wants to survive here. Chris Jericho knows how to polish off an opponent. Sit out, pile driver. Daniel Bryan with a great offensive show. Zeroing in on the chest. Now that's how you make a statement. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. You know, Byron, I have to wonder if Daniel Bryan is still thinking about earlier tonight when his pro mentor, Miz, slapped him across the face. Well, any man that gets slapped has got to carry that embarrassment for some time. Especially with it coming on your first day on the job. Is that something Yoshi Tatsu taught you, Byron? Miz did say he was going to slap some personality into his rookies. You can say whatever you want to say about The Miz. He's a loud mouth, but he's the unified tag team champion. He's the United States champion. And the fact of the matter is this guy, Daniel Bryan, has to show some respect for the WWE Pro. Yeah, respect is due to The Miz. I mean, just because Miz comes out here in the WWE Universe, disrespects him for absolutely no reason, doesn't give Bryan the permission to do the same thing. He lets it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. No! no. Oh, oh. And a pin attempt. And Brian gets the shoulder up. Oh, wow. see Brian actually testing the champion here a bit. It must be the inspiration from the Miz that's propelling this offense. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's got it. Walls of Jericho locked in. Daniel Bryan getting absolutely punished right now. We're on the inaugural episode of NXT, the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Jericho, taking on the Miz's rookie, Daniel Bryan. I've been looking forward to this main event. WrestleMania is on the horizon, but tonight is a, is a WrestleMania source for all the NXT rookies. Well, Daniel Bryan was excited earlier in the night to be out on the biggest stage of his life, but that was before he knew he was going to face the World Heavyweight Champion. He's going to have to learn to take Miz's advice if he wants to survive here. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Got him good with the elbow there. Chris Jericho's on the attack now. Driver! Ooh, what an up. Targeting the chest area. A savage elbow. I've got to say, I'm surprised to see Brian actually testing the champion here a bit. It must be the inspiration from the Miz that's propelling this offense. He hits a textbook double underhook suplex. Now we have Daniel Bryan on the attack. Ah, oh, brutal impact. Miz on the outside, mentoring Daniel Bryan, Chris Jericho, the world heavyweight champion, who defends the championship against Edge at WrestleMania. Yeah, what could be going through Chris Jericho's mind knowing that in 33 days at WrestleMania, Jericho will go one-on-one -on -one with Edge. Overlooking this rookie right now could be dangerous for Jericho. Work is being put in by Daniel Bryan. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Byron questioned Chris Jericho's current mindset. I'll tell you what's going through Jericho's mind. Perhaps teaching this rookie some respect 
teaching him why he's the best in the world and that no rookie is a match for the world heavyweight champion. This kind of offense he's known for. It's got to be over now. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Got the reversal. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Brian is not playing right now. I have to admit the NXT rookies have been fairly feisty tonight with their WWE pros, to say the least. But there's been no bigger offender than Daniel Bryan. A bit of ungratefulness shown on the part of Daniel Bryan. To say he wasn't pleased to have the Miz in his WWE pro was the real slap in the face. To Here's the cover. And Jericho pops the shoulder up. Gonna take more than that. Returning to Daniel Bryan. There's no way that Jericho's gonna lose to this guy. Yeah, but the way this match is going, it's a real possibility. Uh -oh. Jericho, though, needs a breather, and he rolls out of the ring to try to do that. A wise maneuver from a wily veteran. Uh, I'm not sure if Jericho's gonna get much rest time. What's this guy Bryan? doing? Daniel Bryan! Oh. Suicide dive right off the announce desk. Looks like Bryan might have bounced off the announce desk himself. I don't think Miz liked the fact that Bryan threw his body in harm's way, and I, I can't say I blame him. What's this guy thinking? Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Bringing it back between the ropes. Guys, you're getting ahead of yourself. Oh, yeah. be some sort of oh boy. See, I told you. Oh, boy. This one's over now. Roll him into the walls of Jericho. Tap him out, Chris. Bryce trying to fight it. Rolls through. What a counter by the technician there. Oh, my oh, God. Heel hook. Heel hook is in. Jericho's in trouble. Jericho tried it. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? He may have no choice. He made, he made it to the bottom rope. You've got to be impressed, Michael, for what we're seeing from Daniel Bryan. Did Daniel, he win yet, Byron? Daniel Bryan thinks he... Oh, breaker! You can't allow a veteran like Jericho any time to recover. You're right, Corey. That was a rookie move. And now he's going to pay for it, Byron. That may, very well may be the case, Michael. This loser's going to lose again. Oh. Lion tamer. Can Brian hold on? Tap out, nerd! You got your wish, Cole. Daniel Bryan fought valiantly, but just couldn't the hang with the champ. Yeah, this Chris time, Jericho. experience was just too much. For Gotta be so disappointed, and I don't blame him. Luck of the draw, Miz got this loser to be his protege, and now Miz a little bit of tough whoa, whoa, whoa. here. Tough love, give me a break. Tough love. This is ridiculous. Miz is obviously frustrated with his star pupil. Oh, yeah, so you're frustrated, so that's okay. Now you can beat him up? Yeah, start winning some matches, then you won't get beat up anymore. This is ridiculous. What? This is huh? I'm a champion. Miz has lost his mind. Lying on his back, looking at the lights again. You would think a high-profile match with the World Heavyweight Champion would solidify my status in WWE, right? Nope. Just a few months later, I was released. For those of you keeping track at home, this was the second time I was released by WWE. I thought this time I might be done with WWE for good. But not long after my release, I returned to SummerSlam when WWE called me. They said, hey, if you want to come back, that's for the main event of SummerSlam. Main eventing SummerSlam, it's just super cool. Old school pay-per-views. Still holds special meaning. Not long after SummerSlam, my strained relationship with The Miz picked up right where it left off. Let me tell you something, I'm the pro, I am the talent. The Miz is almost a perfect adversary for me because we are so polar opposite. The one thing I do respect about Miz, he works very, very hard. You and me, 
U.S. Championship match. Yes or no? Yes. We had our first match against each other at Night of Champions 2010 for the United States title. Look at the Miz. He's worked hard, he's charismatic, he's smart. He's Mr. Money in the Bank, and he's the United States champion. Well, Michael, he may not be one of those things if he lands in Daniel Bryan's bell lock. Bryan faced Miz in a submission match on Raw, and he made Miz tap faster than a heavy metal drummer. If that happens tonight, we'll have a new United States champion. Miz was saving himself. Now we have Daniel Bryan on the attack. Work is being put in by Daniel Bryan. He's displaying classic offense here. Daniel Bryan with a great offensive show. He delivers a hard clothesline. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. This kind of offense he's known for. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Over the head and then the back rock. Great move. Great offense by the Miz. Close line. Right in the back of the neck. The majority of the WWE Universe here tonight is trying to will Daniel Bryan back into this matchup. Corey, that's because a lot more people relate to Daniel Bryan than they do The Miz. Relate to Daniel Bryan? How can you relate to a guy who doesn't own a TV or eat meat? And Daniel Bryan kicks out. It's way too early. Every title's on the line here tonight at Night of Champions. The Miz is no stranger to championships. At one point, he held the U.S. title and the Tag Team Championship simultaneously. And that briefcase is a near-guaranteed WWE Championship win. Okay, Michael, I know you're going to go with this. I know what you're trying to lead to. Yes, Daniel Bryan hasn't won a title here yet, but he's only been on the roster for eight months. Give him time. The two of you discussed Miz's longer title reign resume than Daniel Bryan, but I have to point out that Daniel Bryan just did something Miz hasn't done yet. He made him in at SummerSlam. I mean, come on, Daniel Bryan stole that spot at SummerSlam after John Cena begged The Miz to join his team. Also, when The Miz wins here and then cashes in later tonight, he'll have plenty of main events in his future. Daniel Bryan always thought he was better than The Miz, but just look at what he's done since dumping Daniel Bryan. He's defending the United States Championship on pay-per-view, formed a tag team with Chris Jericho, and defeated seven men to win Money in the Bank. Hey, and that's impressive, but if Daniel Bryan was given those same kind of opportunities, he could be a tag team champion and a Money in the Bank winner. Byron, you really ticked me off with that comment about The Miz being given opportunities like Money in the Bank. He earned those, and it's internet darlings like Daniel Bryan who everyone expects to get the red carpet treatment. Oh, internet favorite or not, Daniel Bryan doesn't seem like the type to ask for chances. He's going to take them. And if not, then he'll demand them while trapping you in the belt. Up the turnbuckle goes Daniel Bryan. I just cannot believe the disrespect the Miz had to endure at the hands of Daniel Bryan. All he wanted to do on NXT was help Bryan, and that vegan nerd never listened. Whoa, whoa, disrespect? Disrespect that the Miz slapped Daniel Bryan in the face on the very first episode of NXT. If I were ever to be on NXT, I'd never take that kind of abuse from my bro. He's looking for the win. And it's The Miz able to stop the count. The Miz has done it all in this business, so he can escape from jams like that in his sleep. You guys brought up Miz and Brian's relationship on NXT. Obviously, Brian can't learn any new moves from The Miz, but ironically, Brian's hatred of The Miz did awaken the personality. Look at this! Miz! Daniel Bryan looking to it, and he hits a vicious neckbreaker. Now, he's got to capitalize. He's flipped the switch, that's for sure. Great effort, but he'd better save something for later in the match. That doesn't even look remotely comfortable. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. I believe Daniel Bryan has a strong chance of winning tonight. And the guy was trained by Shawn Michaels, who must have taught Bryan a thing or two about high-pressure matches. What has happened to you, Corey? You've turned into another Saxton. Yeah, and Daniel Bryan was also trained by The Miz. 
Quite frankly, Brian should have listened to The Miz more, and maybe he would have won NXT. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Perfectly executed. You know what? I take back what I said about Daniel Bryan potentially winning NXT. Bryan never could have won NXT. He started with a 10-match losing streak. He probably only quit because he would have been eliminated soon. Anyway... Uh, Michael, all it takes is one win to change your fortune. And Daniel Bryan looks likely to get that win tonight. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He's making a statement here with this attack. Work is being put in by Daniel Bryan. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. He's showing absolutely no pity now, guys. Stop pulling a oh. leg snap! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. It's gotta be hard to rebound from that one. Off the top turnbuckle with a crushing missile drop kick. The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. Daniel Bryan with a great offense. His shoulders are down. You gotta believe this one's over. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? Gonna take a whole lot more. Got him good with a neck breaker. Great effort, but he better save something for later in the match. That that's gotta be it. Daniel Bryan getting absolutely punished right now. Daniel Bryan really... The human body can only absorb so much of that. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Nice job by The Miz. Right up against uh, his face. Come on. It's all academic from here. The Miz with the offense. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Wow. That was so reversal by Daniel Bryan. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Well, what happens if, if, the, if the Miz comes up short here tonight against Daniel Bryan? Well, it hasn't happened yet, has it, Byron? Uh, it could be on the verge of occurring. Daniel Bryan from the top rope. Miz is in trouble. Yeah, but look at the Miz fight back. What a warrior. Oh! From the Miz. Daniel Bryan hung out to dry. Oh, oh no! Just like that, the Miz has turned the tides in this matchup. This is what I'm talking about. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. The champion. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. Here is your winner, and still the United States champion, the Miz. Daniel Bryan. Look at the Miz. He's worked hard. He's charismatic. He's smart. He's Mr. Money in the Bank. And he's the United States champion. Well, Michael, he may not be one of those things if he lands in Daniel Bryan's LaBelle lock. Bryan faced Miz in a submission match on Raw, and he made Miz tap faster than a heavy metal drummer. If that happens tonight, we'll have a new United States champion. Miz was saving himself. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. I don't want to know what that feels like. Oh, and there's a wicked Hurricane Rana. Now we have Daniel Bryan on the attack. Daniel Bryan with a great offensive show. Anyone surprised at the Miz and Daniel Bryan's relationship has come to this? The Miz can never keep an ally on his side. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Every person in the office. Northern Lights. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Not yet. Great offense by the Miz. The two of you brought up Miz's former partnerships and. 
Can I just point out the common element between Brian and the Miz's old tag partners? Just like Brian, they were all jealous of the Miz. The drop kick hits the target. Oh boy, he is rolling. Up the turnbuckle goes Daniel Bryan. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Daniel Bryan looking to attack from high. Why would anyone, please tell me, why would anyone root for Daniel Bryan? He's an indie internet nerd. He doesn't eat meat, he doesn't own a TV, and he has absolutely no personality, and he is a dog named Asparagus. Oh my gosh, who cares what Daniel Bryan eats or watches or what his dog's name is? He's great in the ring, and for the record, he showed a lot of personality when he he breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. This kind of offense he's known for. Up the turnbuckle goes Daniel Bryan. And he hits a big time drop kick. Look at this. And he connects with the missile drop kick. Whoa, it's another reversal. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Work is being put in by Daniel Bryan. I can't believe that Daniel Bryan even has a championship match here tonight. He basically... Now we have Daniel Bryan on the attack. And the champ kicks out. Yeah, this early, no chance. Oh boy, he is rolling. Message delivered. The Miz with a nice reversal. The Miz is doing all he can to damage Daniel Bryan to negate that dangerous look. And he hits a hellacious neckbreaker. Nice. Shut it down. Can he do it here? We discussed Daniel Bryan's last place finish on NXT back when he was on that show. Boy, am I glad he didn't win. Can you imagine this nerd in the main event WWE Championship match tonight? The NXT winner earned. Uh, I can easily imagine it. Despite your thoughts, I believe that Daniel Bryan has many more made of shoulders on the back. Daniel Bryan kicks out easily. Well, unfortunately, yes movements don't die that easily. Oh boy, he is rolling. No, oh, no. oh, oh. Work is being put in by Daniel Bryan. This looks to be a barn burner, gentlemen. These two guys hate each other. Corey, come on. The Miz is WWE's fastest rising star. And Daniel Bryan, he's a nerdy vegan. Bryan's got no chance here tonight. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Well, what exactly. happens if, if, they, if the Miz comes up short here tonight against Daniel Bryan? Well, it hasn't happened yet, has it, Byron? Uh, it could be on the verge of occurring. Daniel Bryan from the top rope. Miz is in trouble. Yeah, but look at the Miz fight back. What a warrior. Oh, oh, man. Oh. Great wherewithal from the Miz. Daniel Bryan hung out to dry. Oh, oh no! Just like that, the Miz has turned the tides in this matchup. This is what I'm talking about. That should do it right there. Two. No, he kicks out. Nicely done. Not yet. The Miz's continued frustrations with Daniel Bryan have manifested in a methodical beating from Mr. Money in the Bank. Well, if the Miz ends this soon, he might be healthy enough to cash in on the winner of the six-pack elimination WWE Championship match later on the night. On oh, a vicious assault. That landed perfectly. Daniel Bryan, this is going to be big. Oh, oh, oh. Lock, the bell locked. bell lock is in. History might be made here. Uh oh, Brian looking for it. Oh, oh, oh. Bell lock, the little bell lock is in. Looks like Brian's going to be our winner here, guys. The Miz got the worst end of that stick. by the Miz. Nice job by the Miz. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. New champion. New champion. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Can you believe what he's withstood here tonight? Daniel Bryan with a great offensive show. 
at this guy. Daniel Bryan's an earned. I wish I could just go in the ring and say it right to his face. Now we have Daniel Bryan on the attack. Bringing it back into the ring. Jeez, nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Daniel Bryan looking to attack from high. Look out! And he hits with a diving assault. Daniel, oh, I think this man needs business. We might have a new champion here, guys. Daniel. Daniel Bryan hit that one. Looks like Bryan's going to be our winner here, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Lock, the bell lock is in. This one's over, guys. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. The Miz with a nice reversal. Not again. Wow. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Right? Back down to earth with authority. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. When this guy's on, look out. And it's Bryan showing some agility. Daniel Bryan with his patented skull crushing headbutt. He's inflicting some serious pain here. One, two. He's got to be running on empty at this point. He's still in this. Oh, boy, he is rolling. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Daniel Bryan with a great offensive show. Daniel Bryan, this is going to be big. Oh, boy, he is rolling. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. The Miz with the offense. Watch it. Miz. Got him good with a neck breaker. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end. He's going to the pen. And Brian gets the shoulder up. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Nice job by the Miz. So dominant. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Well, unfortunately, yes movements don't die that easily. And it's broke. And he fights his way free. He's got to be working on instinct right now, Cole. Oh, 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 bell lock, the little bell lock is in. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He did it. Daniel Bryan is U.S. champion. No, no, it can't be. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Yeah.
I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Here is your winner and the new United States champion, Daniel Bryan. That was a fluke. The miss slipped and Daniel Bryan somehow took advantage. A long road for Daniel Bryan leads to the United States title. I can't take anything away from Daniel Bryan in this match tonight. I just wish Daniel gave that level of commitment to his job as general manager of SmackDown Live. And I'll tell you, the roof nearly blew off this place in Rosemont, and the bell finally rang to end this one. After I defeated The Miz, my WWE career really started to take off. I won the Money in the Bank briefcase and then cashed it in to beat The Big Show for my first World Heavyweight Championship. Can you believe it? Daniel Bryan is the new World Heavyweight Champion! But for every step forward, it seemed like I took two steps back. One was pretty big. When at WrestleMania in 2012, I lost the world title in just 18 seconds. Oh, man! A rope kick by Sheamus! Oh my god! Sheamus is the world champion! That may be one of the fastest title changes in the history of WrestleMania! After that, I was angry and wanted to blame a lot of people for my failure. But it actually led to one of the most enjoyable times of my career. Daniel Bryan's forced to go to anger management with that man. <gasps> no! I formed an unlikely partnership with Kane. Shut your mouth right now. The devil's favorite demon is nothing without the world's toughest vegan. No! 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 Kane is one of my favorite people. We almost have the same sense of humor. Daniel Bryan and Kane hugging out tonight. This is the most awkward and weird thing I've ever seen. There we go, yes, yes. They yes. hugged it out. Anger management, I believe, has been a success. We just had a lot of fun. We watch each other's back. Team Hell No Style. We had our first shot at the Tag Team Championships when we faced Kofi Kingston and R-Truth at Night of Champions in 2012. We're in Boston in a building where many great champions have been crowned, and right now, the Tag Team titles are on the line. The champions, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth. Truth against the unlikely team of Daniel Bryan and Kane. Uh, talk about an odd couple, Michael. With everything we've seen from Bryan and Kane in the past few weeks, I gotta wonder if Dr. Shelby's anger management therapy can turn these two into a cohesive unit. What do you know about therapist Saxton? They've been thrusted into this position while the champions have been centered around their teamwork for the past five months. Kane and Bryan only have anger management in common. I wouldn't call that a building block towards tag team titles. some progress in Kane and Daniel Bryan's anger management. I don't think they are all the way there, but there's been definite progress. I see it too, Michael. Uh, we don't see Daniel screaming in the face of fans anymore. He's keeping his composure pretty well, and Kane, well, Kane is still Kane. There is some deep-rooted trouble within that monster. Kane with some good timing here. In comparing Daniel Bryan and Kane's progress in therapy, I think there are two different cases. Bryan had an emotional breakdown brought on by the WWE Universe, whereas Kane has just been sick and demented since birth. Well, one of those things for sure, they're both off the rocker in my estimation. Great job, Dr. Cole. Guys, when the WWE Universe has the power on Monday Night Raw, they can be really nutty. Case in point, a few weeks ago, the WWE Universe voted on social media to have Daniel Bryan and Kane hug it out in the middle of the ring. Yes, folks, hug it out. Uh, yeah, it was not a sight we usually see in a WWE ring. 
Kane and Daniel appeared to be two people that have never given a hug in their whole life. An awkward moment that showed they both still had a ways to go in their anger management. So damaging. 